Before we begin, there are a few points that you should be aware of. In this section, we take a couple of minutes and explain what you will experience and to dispel a few myths. Firstly, there's no background music in this program. If you like, you can feel free to put on some quiet music in the background. For some people, quiet music helps to relax the soul while distracting the conscious mind. This is a good technique if you have a very active mind. Other people, on the other hand, may prefer absolute quiet. This allows the person the freedom to focus their concentration entirely on my voice. For some, this technique is more comfortable. Remember, your subconscious mind will be open and receptive. So the important thing to remember is to do whatever you have to do to just make yourself as comfortable and as relaxed as possible. For those who are new to the hypnotic experience, it's simply like a little daydream. And you can keep your eyes open if you like, or you can deepen your trance-like state by closing your eyes. Some people experience a, a greater ability to concentrate their attention on the visualizations when their eyes are closed. But from watching TV or reading a book, we know that we can have very vivid dreams with our eyes wide open. Remember, you are always in control. This is not a stage show, and you're not going to run around like a chicken or do anything that you wouldn't do while you were completely awake. So if the phone rings, you can answer it. If your body becomes sore, you can shift your position. This is your time. So do whatever you need to do to make yourself comfortable, safe, and secure. To give yourself permission to allow your dreams to come true. Doing whatever you have to do to make yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath. And relax. Remember, this time right here, right now, is your time. Time that you've chosen to let go of the world and embrace yourself. Time now to go on a little journey of self-discovery. And I wonder if you can allow yourself permission to take a few moments for yourself as we prepare to make yourself feel good for yourself. As you relax deeper and deeper with, with each cleansing breath. As if you're in your own private sanctuary where you feel safe and secure and at peace with yourself and the world around you. And if you haven't closed your eyes yet, doing so now will help you focus your attention inwards because every so often you'll hear a little bell off in the distance. If you like, you can allow this bell to be your guide to deeper and deeper levels of rest and concentrated relaxation, where you can focus your mind on your true desires. The most amazing thing happens to me every time I let go of the distractions of the day and relax my mind this way. I notice people flirting with me everywhere I go. Relationships, potential mates, potential lovers actually begin to find me. Really, you will see it everywhere too. You will hear flirting in people's voices when they talk to you. So begin to imagine all of the possibilities, all of the avenues for relationships. As you begin to relax your body, letting go of all of the muscles from the top of your head, down, down, down to the tips of your toes, just letting go. Letting go of all of the outdated thoughts and ideas and beliefs that you've ever had about attracting love. Letting go of other people's myths and bad habits. Letting go of the concerns of the day, today, yesterday, and tomorrow. As you allow time and space to become one, Letting go of the stresses and the worries and embracing yourself for perhaps the first time in a long time. Simply embracing yourself for yourself. You're about to go on a little journey that will dramatically change the way that you think, you feel, 
and especially the way that you behave towards romance and, in particular, love. Your mind, body, and soul in harmony and completely and at peace with yourself and the world around you. Remember, this is your time, chosen by you, to make a new commitment to yourself. And all you have to do is relax the body, let go of yesterday, and focus your mind. As we begin our journey, I'd like you to focus your attention on your breathing for a moment. To attract the perfect mate, to become a love magnet, so to speak, you, you don't have to force anything or you don't have to do anything that you don't normally do in your everyday life. You simply will now allow yourself permission to begin to enter a deep trance, focusing your attention on your inner harmony. And this may sound like a strange idea at first, but in a few moments, you will begin to understand so deeply as you relax even deeper in a way that you may have never felt that you ever could. The first step is to imagine a very strange idea indeed. I wonder if you could imagine yourself breathing in through your toes. That's right. Drawing energy up from the earth and in through your toes. Allowing the cool, healing oxygen to be drawn in through your toes, peacefully and relaxed. You may begin to feel a, a light tingling sensation as you draw the oxygen in through your toes and into your feet. Relaxing all of the little muscles in your feet on the way by. Gently allowing the healing oxygen to soothe your feet and now relax the muscles of your legs draining away all tensions and all worries. You allow time and space to become one as you relax even deeper. Down, down, down. Allowing my voice to drift in and out of your awareness as you continue to allow the soothing oxygen to move up your legs and into your thighs. Relaxing all of the big muscles found there, cool and relaxed. Deeper and deeper with each breath as you continue to focus your attention on bringing yourself into harmony with yourself, your dreams, and the universe around you. With each breath, you can now try and feel your mind, your body, and your soul becoming more aligned. You're beginning to speak with one voice. That's right, as oxygen is drawn in through your toes and up through your body, relaxing all of your muscles and bringing yourself into proper harmonic alignment with yourself and the world around you. Continuing to imagine how successful you will be when your mind, body, and soul Speak with one voice, focused and relaxed. Always in through the toes and up and out through the top of your head. With each cleansing breath, allowing yourself permission to go deeper and deeper. It's this unidirectional flow of the cool, clean, healing oxygen that's important always in through the toes and out through the top of your head, bringing you more and more in alignment with the universe around you, focusing your goals, magnetizing your personality. I wonder if you can actually imagine yourself as a little engine, drawing energy up through your toes and changing it to suit your own subconscious desires, finally accelerating it out to the universe. And give yourself permission now to feel yourself drawing up this universal energy with every cleansing breath and accelerating it out through the top of your head out to the universe, remembering at all times that the universe is designed for you to be successful. The universe is designed for you to have everything that you want, 
exactly the way that you want it. Not because I say so, but because you can now feel deep down inside as you continue to reharmonize your inner energy, focusing your attention on your one voice, your concentrated magnetic attraction that only you can fulfill your destiny. I'll repeat that. Only you can fulfill your destiny. And to whatever extent that you so desire to live your life with the strength and confidence to achieve your goals, to attract love, you will continue to relax deeper and deeper, letting go of all outdated ideas and embrace your own inner harmony, your own destiny, focusing on your goal of attracting love to bathe yourself in the riches of the universe, focusing your energy on attracting the perfect mate. And as you continue to allow yourself to drift off deeper and deeper, allowing my words to become your words, breathing in the healing energy of the universe, releasing all stress unconsciously held in your body, with each breath melting all stress from your stomach and your back and your neck. Let go of the past and embrace yourself. Today is your day that you've chosen to finally set yourself free to love and more importantly, to be loved. So simply allow the healing energy of the universe to cleanse out all of the stress in your stomach, to relax the muscles in your body, going deeper and deeper with each breath. As you bring your inner vibration, your inner harmony, more in line with the universe, feeling all subconscious stress and worries in your stomach melt away, Stress is now becoming a distant memory to you. Now. Releasing the tension held in your back. That's right, everyone unconsciously stores stress and discord and tension in different parts of their body. And your job right here, right now, is to find where that stress is stored and, and just let it go. Allow the healing energy of the universe to release it back out from where it came. Today is your day. In order to fully align your mind, body, and soul to truly become a love magnet to magnetize your personality, you will root out that hidden tension and let it go. So, relaxing all of those muscles in your back Really feel them come into harmonic alignment. And especially relaxing all of the muscles in your neck, cleansing your soul and washing away all of the stress hidden there. And finding the last traces of stress and tension held anywhere in your body that prevented you in the past from being in harmony with yourself. And now give yourself permission to let it melt away forever. You are your body's keeper. To whatever extent that you so desire your dreams to come true, you will embrace your own inner peace and relax your mind even deeper. And as you drain the stress from your arms, you now know that as you magnetize your personality and speak with your one voice, you can now feel confident in the knowledge that Whatever anyone says or does to help or hinder you only makes you feel stronger and more confident because you are now making a new commitment to be true to yourself, for yourself, for now and forever. As we enter a deep in state of heightened relaxation where time and space are all one, 
where seconds look like hours and hours feel like seconds and it just feels good to relax this deeply, this soundly, where you feel so alive as you embrace your own inner harmony after just a few brief moments of this hypnotic rest with each harmonizing breath as you allow yourself permission to become one with the universal truth that the world really is designed for you to be successful. You may be surprised to find that powerful change has already begun and this effect multiplies with each healing breath continuing long after you awake. And in the next couple of days, you will notice these powerful changes. You are aware of yourself walking taller, feeling more proud of yourself, finding yourself looking and sounding more confident and alive with an overwhelming hunger to smile, literally radiating a new kind of energy radiating a magnetic energy, attracting love. And it feels good to attract love and you become filled with confidence when you talk to and flirt with someone. And when you now notice people flirting with you, secure in the feeling that you have become a love magnet. As you continue to align your mind, body, and soul to focus on your goals, I wonder if you can now notice some of the sensations that people entering a deepened sense of heightened awareness have reported. If you notice yourself experiencing any or all of these sensations now or when you awake from this peaceful and pleasant rest, you can simply allow yourself permission to feel safe and secure and allow yourself to drift even deeper, more relaxed and focused all of the time, concentrating on allowing yourself permission to allow your dreams to become your reality. The first thing that people who enter a deepened state of heightened relaxation report is Sensing a great feeling of peacefulness and relaxation, gently washing over their body, cleansing their soul and relaxing their mind. Some people who have allowed themselves to enter a deepened state of relaxation report feeling a sense of detachment from their body, almost as if they've so successfully aligned themselves with the harmonies of the universe that they feel completely at one with the world around them, at peace with the truth that the world is designed for you to be successful. Once again, not because I say so, but because you can feel the truth is vibrating around you at all times, recharging your commitment to yourself to allow your dreams to come true. Now, of course, you don't have to imagine that you're leaving your body or anything. Just allow yourself to be more aware, more sensitive to the vibrations around you. And just as all sounds, focus your attention on my voice, allowing my words to become your words, accelerating this powerful change that has already begun. Perhaps you can feel the air as it passes over your skin, so sensitive, so relaxed, so at peace with yourself and the world around you. And perhaps if you really concentrate, you can now feel your inner warmth radiating your united conscious and subconscious desire out to the universe to allow your dreams to come true for now and forever. As you allow yourself more and more to accept that the universe is designed for you to be successful, not because I say so or because it's something that you really hope for or even because it's something that you can dream. But if you really focus your attention to the world around you, 
You can feel that the universe is designed for your dreams to come true. You can have everything that you want, exactly the way that you want it. All you have to do is relax and let go. Some people report that they're able to allow themselves to relax so peacefully in this hypnotic rest that they lose sense of time. Your seconds drift by like hours, and hours float away like seconds as you continue to accept that time and space are all one. In fact, some people say that as little as 15 minutes of hypnotic rest feels the same as three hours of deep, refreshing sleep. Some people find that even if they've allowed themselves to enter this deepened state with their eyes wide open or completely shut tight, they begin to see different colors in their mind's eye. Some people begin to see different shapes emerging and changing form. This too is a good sign of letting go and embracing yourself for now and forever with each cleansing breath. Some people find that they have a need to swallow because their mouth is dry. If you feel a need to swallow, do so now. And If you have an itch or hair touching your face, you can remove it now. Knowing that by doing so, you can now comfortably drift ten times deeper, ten times more relaxed. And it doesn't really matter if you notice yourself experiencing all of these sensations or if you've allowed yourself more personal sensations, because all feelings, thoughts, and sensations that you are experiencing are exactly what you need to experience right now for your dreams to come true. As you continue to align your mind, body, and soul, you may be surprised to find that your mind, body, and soul to some extent have always had a special connection. It is true that when you exercise, your body feels great and looks good. When your body feels good, you're able to think more clearly. And when you now think more clearly, you find yourself smiling from your soul. It's been said that laughter is food for the soul. When you now laugh more with a lighter, kinder heart, you notice that you stand taller with your head held high and your mind sharp and alive. When you feel that you have accomplished a task with your mind, like finishing a crossword puzzle or finishing a book, you can now allow yourself permission to stand taller, embracing your mental success with your whole being. You are now aware that your mind, body, and soul are not only connected, but also feed off of and share in each other's victories you will begin to now love yourself completely, your whole self, even if there are some parts that you may change in the future. And to whatever extent that you'd like your dreams to come true, you'll now make the commitment to love yourself with your whole heart, mind, body, and soul, with one voice, to allow yourself to become a love magnet, Attracting the perfect mate is pretty much the same process as attracting anything else, whether it's a job, money, sponsorship, or really anything else. It doesn't really matter what you're trying to attract. The universal principles of attraction remain the same, just like a magnet. And as you continue to magnetize your personality, remember at all times, the universe is designed for you to be successful, to have everything that you want, exactly the way that you want it. When you're true to yourself, your dreams will come true. You will get everything that you ask for. The problem arises when you're not focused on your desire when I say not focused, I mean that your conscious wants and desires are different from your subconscious impulses, your hidden goals. Quite often, we're, 
Well, we're out of harmonic alignment and we don't even know it. So I wonder as you continue to refocus your body's magnetism, if you may be surprised to remember times in the past when you unknowingly sabotaged yourself. Maybe you saw someone and thought that they were out of your league, or perhaps that you were too good for them. Occasions in the past when he did not give love a chance. And right here, right now, it doesn't really matter if you were afraid of being rejected or even worse, being accepted and swept out of your comfort zone and blown straight into the complicated web of relationships where hide the, the deep worries, the guilt, and the stress which used to accompany the uncertainties of love. Uncertainties like, will your family accept this person? Will their family accept you? The unknown, like will their friends like you? Will your friends like them? And what will the people at work say? And what about their religion? In the past, the web of uncertainty could be endless. A list of doubts and questions which held you back and threw discord into your inner harmony could have been endless. But remember, all is fair in love. And to whatever extent that you so strongly desire to live your life free and alive and in harmony with the universe, you will allow all of these worries to simply disappear. Those worries are becoming a distant memory. You're making a new commitment to yourself to attract love in all forms. You're making a new commitment to really give love a chance. You are becoming a magnet for love. And with each harmonizing breath, you now embrace the uncertainties of love. Starting right here, right now, you embrace your right to give love a chance. And when you are now truly ready, you will attract true love. True love always finds those who are truly ready. And right here, right now, we begin a journey to reharmonize your mind, body, and soul, to align your conscious and your subconscious to help your dreams come true for yourself, for now and forever. Peacefully amplifying your magnetic radiance. Remember that this time right here, right now is your time, a time that you've chosen for yourself to bring your dream to life, to attract the perfect mate Finding that special someone, however, is not enough. You must give yourself permission to give love a chance. And being a magnet, you will also make them fall in love with you. That's the easy part. And just like magnets only attract certain objects, you can be assured that you will attract exactly what is right for you. Once again, not because I say so, but because you have already seen this pattern repeated in science and in nature. And I wonder if at this moment, as you continue to draw in energy up through your toes and release all of your dreams out through the top of your head, if you can take a few moments right now for yourself to simply feel good about the powerful change that has already happened after only a few brief moments of this guided rest. Allowing yourself to feel special, basking in your new radiance, your renewed love for yourself, as if you're in your own private sanctuary, safe and secure, completely at peace with yourself and the world around you. Your mind, body, and soul are now dramatically changing the way that you think, you feel, and especially the way that you behave towards relationships. 
And as you have seen this change in others who went looking and finally let love into their hearts, you will notice this change in yourself. And you will change completely and all at once on a specific day. And today is your day. This journey, however, is a private journey that you will make as you let go of all of your baggage, even letting go for a moment of your own dreams as you embrace yourself, your mind, body, and soul becoming one in harmony and completely at peace with yourself and the world around you. As you can now notice yourself entering the deepest level of this guided rest, where the powerful magical transformation becomes complete, you can now allow your transformation to remain permanent. And I wonder if you search your soul with your mind's eye, if you can be aware of the myths surrounding relationships that have built up over the years, literally blocking your path, blocking your birthright, your destiny to attract true love. Aligning yourself with the riches of the universe, I wonder if you can see with your mind's eye a giant wall of garbage standing in front of you. That's right, a giant wall of good intentions, bad ideas, unfulfilled ideas, and plain myths. If you really want to attract true love, and I mean the kind of storybook love where you find everlasting happiness. You will tear down this wall. And as you continue to align your inner vibrations with the universe, you notice yourself radiating your own beautiful personal magnetism. And you joyously notice yourself attracting love. But, but if you want to find true love, and I mean the type of love where your dreams are allowed to come true. The type of love where you're allowed to fulfill your true destiny for now and forever. You will tear down this wall. And repeating after me quietly in your own mind now, I deserve to attract love. That's right. There is someone out there for everyone. And just like a magnet, you are already sending out the vibrations to attract romance. So, again after me, I deserve to attract love. I deserve to attract love. This is your birthright. The universe is designed for you to be happy. I deserve to attract love. Let these words be strong for you. Let these words guide you to greater and greater levels of, of happiness. I deserve to find love. Bask in the truth of this phrase. I deserve to find love. And feel the awesome power of these words as you allow them to become part of your soul. Your subconscious desire and your conscious awareness speaking with one voice. I deserve to find love. So, as you begin to complete the reharmonizing process, putting the finishing touches on the realignment of your mind, body, and soul, speaking to the universe with one voice, literally magnetizing your personality, sending out your personal wish to the universe, allowing your dreams to come true. Let's now focus our awareness at this wall of garbage blocking your path to true happiness, to true romance, true love. The first myth that you will notice is a big one that you can see right in the center of this wall. The myth is that you are not attractive enough. That's right but you never know what the other person is thinking. You may be their type and not even know it. Attracting true love has nothing to do with how you look. So be aware of the color of this outdated belief. 
Does it have a smell? And what does it feel like? Notice how this giant, outdated thought may have protected you from getting hurt in the past as it held you back. But today, right here, right now, to whatever extent you so desire and deserve to be a relationship magnet, this part of the wall must come down. See this big blockage in the wall and in your own mind right now, reach up with all of your heart, with all of your combined energy of your united mind, body, and soul, with your focused energy, and tear down that piece of the wall. That myth only held you back. That misplaced belief has oppressed you for the last time. And to whatever degree that you so strongly hunger after true love, you will rip out that piece of the wall. That's right, rip it out and trample it beneath your feet. Destroy it for good, forever. You know lots of people who are not as pretty as you, who attract lots of relationships. People who have allowed true love to find them. People not as attractive as you who refuse to hide behind a wall of garbage. So rip that myth right out of the wall and notice how good it feels to see light pour in from the other side, filling your soul with the love of the universe, with this old outdated idea it blocked for far too long. Today is your day. Today you are embracing your own destiny. Your heart is strong. Your heart is ready. And your heart has the courage to allow yourself to accept love in all of its forms. And you will find yourself smiling and laughing more than ever with all of your heart. As you love with all of your heart. With all of your soul standing tall and proud, basking in the love of the universe. And to whatever extent that you now so desire and deserve to allow your dreams to come true, you take pride and gain strength and courage from tearing down this wall. Not because I say so, but because you have already made a new commitment to yourself to stand tall and love yourself with all of your heart. And now looking back up at that wall, take hold of another myth or outdated belief and rip it out of the wall. It's only held you back, blocking your path. But not anymore. Today, you are free. Maybe in the past you used to think that you were too tall or too short. Rip that out of the wall. Trample it beneath your feet and set yourself free to accept love. Remember, all is fair in love. You never know what type of person that that special someone will fall for. So feel yourself filling with confidence as you take a chance on love. You are now aware of how special you feel when you take a chance on love. Perhaps you felt it. You were too awkward or not smart enough or even <laughs> too smart at times for your own good. It doesn't really matter as long as you tear down this wall and open yourself up to accept love. Hear yourself in your mind yelling at the wall. See it crumble beneath your feet. Feel how this wall only pretended to shield you when in fact it hurts you more and more every day. Until today. This is your day. And with every one of these false truths that comes down, releasing its hold of you, you see more parts of the wall crumble, letting the light of love flood your soul and fill your strong heart with the radiance of your own destiny. You embrace your right to be happy, to attract love, that you can see and feel so clearly right in front of you. And maybe in the past you thought that you were too thin or too heavy. Tear down that myth. You've seen lots of people with irregular body types find love. Grow up and stand tall. 
let go of that idea. Maybe this wall was built with the help of other people's ideas. Your friends, your parents, co-workers, the media. It doesn't matter because whatever anyone else had said or done in the past, it is your problem now. So destroy this wall. Let it go. Trample it beneath your feet. Free yourself to love. Perhaps you were under the impression that certain types of people attract other types, like the quarterback only dates cheerleaders, or wealthy people only attract wealthy people, or smart people only like smart people. But you know that opposites also attract. That's right. Opposites also attract. So let go of that old painful idea. It only blocked your path. I'll repeat that. Opposites attract. There's a natural law of the universe. You now give yourself permission to live your life happy and free from other people's ideas. Remember, you are your body's keeper. You are responsible for your own happiness. So it doesn't really matter how this wall got here in the first place. We're not here to blame people because blaming people is another part of the wall. Blaming people is more garbage. Blame is more baggage. Let it go. Rip it down from the wall and be free to love. You also don't have to forgive anyone because forgiveness is just the blind backside of blame. Forgiveness is another part of the wall. Just let go. Embrace yourself for yourself for now and forever free to love and alive. Feel the power of these words as you allow them to be your strength, to be your guide as you relax even deeper, allowing my words to become your words, to help you bring down the rest of this wall and allow yourself to accept love. Some people hide behind a wall of activity, using the phrase, I'm too busy to find love. Others hide in their work saying that their work is more important than love, and they actually lose themselves in their work. But you know right here, right now, that this is just an excuse that holds them back. Rip it out of the wall. An object in motion stays in motion. If you're busy, it should be easier to attract love. There are many busy people who have made a stronger commitment to something other than themselves. But you are your body's keeper. You are responsible for your own happiness. You are the most important person in your life. You will put yourself first right now. Make a new commitment to yourself and put yourself first. Everything else is simply hiding from the truth. Everything else is garbage, blocking you from true love. Tear down this wall and embrace yourself. I've even met someone who thought that they were too plain and another who believed that they were too exotic. Pull down these thoughts and trample them beneath your feet. Stand tall and proud of who you are. Love is blind, and these people have all found true love. Some people are late bloomers, and some people are early bloomers. Some people are shy and others are outgoing. But you can't hurry love. You must embrace it. And repeating after me quietly in your own mind as you rip apart this wall, Love is blind. That's right, at least three times. Love is blind. Love is blind. Love is blind. And feel these words becoming part of the new you. Love is blind. All is fair in love. All is fair in love. All is fair in love. 
Some people have blocked themselves away because they are afraid that they will break their heart again. They're afraid that they will get burned by love. But passion is hot and love is all consuming. This is the nature of love. Embrace the heat, taste the passion. Fill yourself with the radiance and the glow of true love. Today is your day. True love, hot passion, and lighthearted flirtations are your destiny. Allow yourself permission to let go of the past. Let go of all of the hurts and sorrows and pains. They're now becoming a distant memory of a different time in your life, fading into the past, letting go. A distant memory of a different part of your life. As you trample this part of the wall, you can now allow yourself to feel good that you have the strength of character, the strength of heart to free yourself from your past experiences. You can now see your past like a library. We learn from the past, but we live in the present. And today is your day to be free and alive to love again. So give yourself permission to mend that broken heart and move on free and alive and in love with the world. Destroy this wall just as it tried to destroy you. Tear it down right here, right now, and be free. Embrace yourself. Embrace your right to attract love, to attract happiness, your birthright to be free and alive and at peace with yourself in harmony with the universe. Destroy the final parts of the wall that you may not have consciously been aware of in the past. Subconscious blockages which kept you away from your goal. That's right. Release all subconscious garbage. Let it go. And as you trample down that last part of this wall for good and forever, you can now feel proud that you recognize the false beliefs. You now gain strength whenever you are confronted with these old thoughts. Your heart grows stronger with the knowledge that you love yourself. And all thoughts which held you back in the past now give you courage to move forward to find love. I'll repeat that a couple of times. Let these words be strong for you. All past, present, and future thoughts from yourself or others, regardless of their good or bad intentions, which held you back in the past, now give you the courage to embrace true love, to allow yourself permission to open yourself up to the wondrous possibilities of love, and really feel these words now, all past, present, and future thoughts from yourself or others, regardless of their good or bad intentions, which held you back in the past, now give you the courage to embrace true love for yourself, for now and forever. And when the wall is now completely destroyed, you feel so good about yourself that you step forward along your path, drawing in the energy of the universe up through your toes and out through the top of your head with each cleansing breath. You now suddenly notice how different and beautiful the world looks now that you've destroyed that wall for good. And you are now aware of yourself feeling a sense of contentedness and peaceful bliss as you notice more and more people flirting with you. You can notice yourself standing taller and you may be surprised to find yourself enjoying this new view of the world. A view that becomes more and more pleasing every day. 
and every day you will become and you will remain more relaxed and in control of your thoughts and your own actions. Every day your love continues to grow. Powerful change has already happened and powerful change will continue to happen even when you're awake after a few brief moments of this hypnotic rest. And it just feels good to relax this deeply. And if you really focus your attention, I bet you just might be able to feel your own inner vibration, feeling yourself radiating love out to the world around you as you let love find you. You can now confidently feel deep inside your heart that the universe really is designed for you to have everything that you want exactly the way that you want it. Don't force true love. Don't force your destiny. Find yourself enjoying the journey of your life, free and alive. Allow yourself the freedom to enjoy the passions of the universe at your own pace, in harmony with the world around you. And in a few moments when you awake, you'll be ready to Right now, find true love, alive and free. Your mind is powerful. Your mind is ready. Your soul is powerful. Your soul is ready. Your heart is strong, free and alive. And your love is radiant. Your love is true. You are now ready to allow all of your dreams to come true. True love for now and forever. All is fair in love. You've made a new commitment to yourself, a promise to put yourself first. You've made a commitment to live your life true to yourself. And you can feel this commitment becoming stronger and stronger every day. Your mind, body, and soul now vibrate as one. and You will notice how different you think and feel and you are now so strong and your promise to yourself so true that there is nothing that anyone can ever say or do to sway you from your true path to be true to yourself, for yourself, for now and forever. And this is so. Now, as you're so peacefully aware of the changes that you have undergone, you can give yourself permission to drift off into a deep sleep and dream about how exciting your life has now become. After these few brief moments of hypnotic rest where you can slowly and gently allow yourself to return to full consciousness and take on the rest of the day with a smile from your heart as you embrace life as the new magnetic you.